Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me again. Uh, my name is Larry, Pastor Larry, and I'd like to thank you for joining me again. Uh, the other day I was not ignoring you, so don't think I was ignoring you. I just didn't see you uh, writing. But today I am here and I'm uh, going to share with you that which I believe that uh, that is vital for this time. Okay? Now, remember I was sharing about life all, sharing all about life life is very important and when we are living in this world we have choices to make and in these choices that we make determines the outcome of our life or our destiny amen and so today we're going to be sharing just a little bit about our life simply because I believe that today it's going to be a good day <laughs> yeah a good day I was a uh, remember I was sharing with you about the, when I first got saved how I uh, received Jesus Christ and and uh, and now I am uh, a living testimony of how God was able to bring me through. I am uh, alive today because I turned away from my old lifestyle. Now that took uh, that took a, a challenge because that was a great challenge for me because I didn't I didn't know anything about Christ when I accepted Him, nor did I know anything about the Bible. And the people that I knew that went to church, well, they were just going to church because when they come out of church, they was doing the same thing that I was doing. And so I just didn't, un I couldn't, I didn't understand that. And so I didn't take too lightly to, you know, to uh, learning about church, or about Christ at that time. But now that I am a Christian now that I have accepted Christ in my life I have questions that have already been answered because before I had no answers but now the questions have been answered and there's still some being answered when I became a child of God I didn't know how to live for God because it wasn't uh I, I wasn't taught I wasn't taught and I wasn't uh, trained how to live for God and so I had to figure out how to live a holy and a clean life and uh, because when I was in the world I didn't uh, think about how what I want to do, I didn't. It didn't matter to me what I want to do because I did what I wanted to do. But now that I have become a child of God, and my life was still going down the same road, living the same way that I did before I accepted Christ, I thought to myself, if this is all it is to being a Christian, well, little did I know that I was going through spiritual warfare and didn't understand what was going on because this was all new to me but when I accepted Christ in my heart I started going to this church I was a, going to a, a Baptist church there in Alabama and this Baptist church, a lot of my family went to this church, Bethlehem Primitive Baptist Church, 
there on Highway 20 in uh, Lawrence County, Alabama. We call it Hillsboro. Well, that's where I went. That's where I was going to church at. Now, I was. I joined. I, I got. I got saved. I got baptized. I got baptized on December the the twenty fourth. 1982 and uh, right before Christmas and I just wanted to uh, you know just wanted to take part in the church because I love to sing I started singing in the church and at the same time I was singing in the clubs now that what I did not understand because everybody was doing the same thing but I knew that I couldn't live that way and so I began to read the Bible myself then all of a sudden the word began speaking back to me I began to see that it was more to being a Christian than just going to church. Anybody can go to church. Don't make you a Christian. But when I began to, when I began to, uh, to uh, uh, read myself, when I began to study for myself, then I found out that being a Christian is more than what I was experiencing. It was more than what I was living. You. You know, uh, and so I just want you know you to understand something that just because you say that you are a Christian don't make you a Christian. Because if you still have that same mindset, you you still have there's still a lot of work to be done in your in your heart. You understand what I'm saying? Now. When I became a Christian, I still, I love to sing. That's what I, I, that was one of my best hobbies. I love to do it. I still do. I love to sing. And so I was singing in the club, and I was singing in the choir on Sunday. I was one of the main lead singers in the church choir. <laughs> yeah, go figure. And in the club, they couldn't wait till I got there. Singing, you know, those songs, Teddy Pendergrass, uh, the spinners, uh, you know, all them people. I, 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 it was no problem for me. I could do it. But then, on the inside of me, I knew that something had to change. And I knew I had to have a change and I had to have it fast. Now, I began reading the Bible. And like I said, the words begin to jump out of the Bible into my spirit. And I and I begin to see something. And then I've read upon this scripture in Romans chapter 12 and verse 1. It says, I beseech you therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice holy and acceptable which is your reasonable service which is which is about your reasonable service and be not verse 2 said and be not conformed to this world but be ye transformed by renewing of your mind you see this is where I began to get an understanding about the word of God that I never gotten because no one was teaching this to me but when I begin to read myself, when I begin to put my heart, when I begin to put this word in my heart by reading myself and not just listening to what I was being told, but when I begin to read myself, my life began to change because I began to see things in the word that I was never being taught. And then I would go and question uh, the pastor my pastor at that time about these things that I was reading and 
he could not ex explain them to me. Well, I guess back then, the, the I don't know this pastor. I don't know what kind of training he had or whatsoever. But but he couldn't explain it to me. And when I started talking to him about the Holy Spirit, he told he told me that I had all the Holy Spirit that I was going to get. Now notice, I was a Baptist, and and I'm beginning to read the Bible myself, and and lo and behold, the Bible began to come alive to me. And now I'm I'm reading I'm reading this in in Romans chapter twelve and verse. Verse 1 and 2 and saying, I beseech you, therefore, brother, by the mercies of God, that you present your body a living sacrifice. You know, I'm seeing something that I've never been taught that I have to take part in presenting my body. It's something, it's a responsibility that is placed upon me as an individual. It's not something that someone else can do for me, but it's something that I have to do for myself. I have to take responsibility of what goes on in my life. You see? And if I don't take that responsibility, then this is, uh, if I don't take that responsibility and, 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 and try to get an understanding, then I'm not really understanding what Christian is all about. Christianity is all about. It's not just being a Christian that's going to help me to understand this life, but it's about understanding the man of the Word, the Lord Jesus Christ and God our Father. By understanding Him, I am establishing a relationship with him. And this relationship is leading me to a place that I had never understood. Now, I began to read this word. And it began to jump the pages into my spirit. Now I'm seeing that I have to do something. I have to present my body. I have to give God place in my life. You understand what I'm saying? I have to give God place in my life. He's not going to make room for himself. I have to make room for him. That's when the change began. That's when the relationship began to establish. <clears throat> Listen. I'll be right back in just a minute. 